Hi everyone, welcome back to Gloucester Golf Centre, myself Joe Lavery. So I've got a new putter, um, this has actually been debuted at Burnham and Barrow, I have taken this out on the golf course and I wanted to share with you why I've got a new putter and what it is. So the putter itself is a Seymour, um, it is a Milled SS303, nice catchy name for you all to remember, um, but there's one very good reason as to why I've bought this and the very simple reason is when you actually look down the putter, you'll kind of notice the shaft is two different colors. Well, I've got a steel and then a matte black section, and you can see then going matte black into the head. Very pretty head itself. It is face balanced. Um, it's got about three degrees of loft on it, and it's lying at the moment at 70 with 34 inches. But if you kind of know in the back edge there, you can hopefully see the red and white lines. This is what they call rifle scope technology, which is all very interesting, but the idea behind it is that the shaft, when at address, will line up and try and cover the red. Being helped here by my cameraman. So it's gonna help cover the red. Now during the stroke, you're gonna try and maintain it, covering the area. Now what that means is it's set up. If you set the hands too far back, hopefully you can start to see the red there on the side. And again, too far forward, so you're gonna be able to see the red again. So it's a really good way of noting whereabouts the setup is and what the shaft's doing. Now, certainly for me, I always found that, especially when I set up a dress, my hands are always back. I always had a problem with actually getting that alignment. So this works really well in that when I set up, hopefully you can see me here in this position. Joe, am I good? Hopefully when I, when I set up here in this position, what you then have is a nice straight line now coming back down. So I know the loft on the putter there is gonna remain consistent the whole way through. Can you see my feet? No. Not very well. Just tilt it down slightly, Joe, so they can see the actual uh, angle there for me. Okay, so you can see then what I've got now, hopefully is a nice straight line here coming up through the hands there with the red. So that's gonna give me a really nice stable position. And I know that with the loft on this putter, I know then that I can bring that in with the same loft on the way through. What I found before is no matter how low I lofted my, my putter as such, I found I'd hit up on it to such an extent. With the hands back, that ball would always bounce, especially on a longer putt for me. So if I hit a few putts now across the green, I'll just get Joe to adjust the camera slightly so you can actually see me aiming towards the target here. You can unclip it if you like, Joe, if you wanna hand hold it. Just slide it out, very good. Uh, other way, sideways if you can. Very good, so what we're gonna find now is we're gonna start hitting a few putts towards this target here. So I am now consciously trying to aim the center of that bottom half of that shaft in that red area. So what I can see now is just two lines to the side and nicely set up there. I'll tell you what Joe, if you wanna have a look, you can uh, certainly have a look in this position. So you can see what I'm kind of seeing here in this position. It's very much the two lines there being covered. So you can kind of see here, there you go, I've got, got the camera myself now. You can see then, I'm lining those two lines up, so you notice if I'm too far back or too far forwards. Again, during the stroke, if you were to move it that way, you can see the red line. So what you're actually looking for is to try and cover that line as much as you can during the stroke. So something similar to that one. I'll give that one back to you, Joe. So what we're gonna do now then is just try and hit a few putts. So the shaft angle then, I'm trying to make sure that's nice and consistent there at setup. Now I know that's um, in a very comfortable position for me. And what it gives then hopefully is a very nice roll. And one of the things I noticed with this is that I'm actually able to judge the pace so much better because the initial roll is not bouncing. And one of the things I also noticed is that this, the roll itself in here is very quiet. Before I'd always notice a slight skid, a slight movement. But now I'm seeing that ball roll end over end much more consistently. Um, but certainly with this putter then, very nice soft feel actually. It's completely milled. I normally putt with um, in, putters with inserts as such. Now this is extremely soft to kind of putt with but comes off really nicely. I think certainly my one kind of problem with the, the White Hot Pro I was using before is that the face felt too soft and meant I couldn't actually get a very good ball roll. Certainly with this, I'm finding it's much easier to hit those pace putts and those shorter putts without feeling as if I have to hit the putt really hard. Um, but in this one here, it's, um, I think it's about 350 grams or somewhere around there in the head. Um, but certainly for me, it's made a massive difference with that setup in the shaft position. Let's say thanks very much for watching. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, plenty more videos to come. I've got another putter actually coming next week, which is more an investment more than anything. And I will be sharing that with you. Very excited to kind of go through that one. 
But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. We look forward to seeing you soon. Many thanks.